episode of Let's Record Secret Evermore. Right, right, <laughs> right. So, um, as you can see, um, I've got uh, a few extra spells here, and uh, I've got Flash and Heal kind of leveled up, which is convenient, and if I go over to my ingredients, you'll see that, and by the way, the number on the right of the colon means that, you know, that's how close it is to getting to 100, which levels up again. So, uh, heal's going to level up in about 40 points. Each usage is so many points, I don't know how many, however many, many it is, but it's, it's, it's cool. And, uh, as you can see, I spent a little bit of time getting all of our, uh, ingredients up to par, so we can, you know, do that. Also, I grinded a good bit and got our, uh, attacks up to, uh, so we can now charge our attacks if you hold X, or B on the SNES controller, but since we're using PlayStation controllers, that's that. So, you can charge it up to two levels, and with the dude's spear, you can actually chunk it, like, long range, like that, see? Now, you might be asking yourself, why can't I hear the game's audio? Why is it just your voice? Why is it our voice, SK? Why is it just our voice? I'll tell you why. Because we're actually watching a recording of this and commentating on it. Post We actually just went recording. through the real thing and we had good commentary and then Lantis plays it back and he just looks, turns around and looks at me and I'm like, what? And then he just sort of lets me hear, or rather not hear, the sound <laughs> for a minute. And I'm like, no. No. And sure Pretty enough, this, st what's this program called again? That Hypercam 3. Freaking Hypercam unchecks an option called record sound. I don't know why you would ever want to not record sound. But it unchecks itself every time he, you know, closes the program and reopens it. I don't know why it wouldn't just stay on the op option you selected. So this commentary might be kind of boring and I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're a bit bitter. It was good. It was yeah. it was good a minute ago when we actually went through the real thing and then we it just all yeah actually it's really funny because me and X suffered the same thing not too long ago when we were recording Super Metroid. I'll bet that sucked when you had to go back over it. Yeah, we actually re we didn't record over the the original gameplay. We started over and played it again. But I I, I did not want to go through that again. Oh, that's fine. That's it's fine. Just, uh... Maybe we'll have good commentary this time around. Who knows? I know you're a bit jaded and upset and offended. More like bitter. Bitter. Bitter at being the... A bitter little knight right now. Right. But, uh... Hey, right. Rhymes with knight. <laughs> so, um... Okay, so... Uh, it... Oh, wait. What did I just say? I think I said Ote like a little rascal. Okay. okay, so tell them what we're doing in the story right, right now, where so we're headed. If you that. remember last time, uh, Fire Eyes wanted us to go check on the... the... Screw this! I'm sorry. <laughs> go. I just had to get that out. Okay. okay. Fire Eyes wanted sorry. us to go check on the volcano. The temperatures were dropping, and that would force an ice age and kill everybody. So she wants us to go check on the volcano. We found the entrance of the volcano blocked by a rock. So now we're heading... We heard that there is a, uh, um, a alchemist on top of the volcano... That might be able to help us out with uh, with our issues here. So we're uh, working to get to the top of the volcano to try and get him to teach us a certain spell that should help us get that rock out of the way. And the only way to get up there is like through these shoots that we're about to go up. And yeah, right here, I'm sitting here trying to find uh, this element that you're... I really love doing that for some reason. What, searching for yeah. elements? I enjoy my bloodhound duties. Well, and I enjoy you doing it. Ah, gosh. And we, and we waste a little bit of time here just trying to get this working. Oh. <laughs> I think your dog just broke wind on me. It happens. Oh, my god. It gosh. happens. Amy, you suck. That's, <laughs> not, that's not kosher. Yeah. But as you can tell by the gameplay footage, I'm not doing too good. <laughs> You gotta admit, I, well, I figured out it's because you have way lower defense than me. You take like four times the amount of damage. Oh, was I? It, yeah, seriously. Well, did you not I, notice? No, I wasn't noticing. I wasn't watching the damage really, but uh, that's okay because where the video ended, I ended up getting a full set of new armor that increased my freaking. Oh, there's my wife. I think I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> okay, I predict she will. 
call over about uh, uh, six more hidden, times in this LP. Hidden freaking shoot there that we missed. Okay, you want you want to play prices right with how many times she'll call back before this episode is over? Uh, I only guess none because I know where she sleeps. What's that mean? It's I don't know. It's like a generic threat. It's, it's a I threat know where you, she sleeps. Yeah, it's like you can say I know where you sleep as a threat without actually saying you're going to do anything. How long are is Dr Pepper going to dress up their Dr. Pepper cans will look like footballs. Like, I, I don't... Is football season in? I don't know. <laughs> but football's stupid. And hey, look, we made it to the top of the mountain. I just like that dog, the way it looks when it's flying through the air. Yeah. This reminds me of that part in Star Tropics where you went through that island tunnel and, like, you took a waterfall to the top. Yeah. And found that hermit, and he's like, uh... What are you doing here? <laughs> I came to find the magic words to get past this other point. Okay, we'll say abracadabra and hop three times on this same tile, and then the path will be open. Thank you, weird man. Why, why do I hop three times again? <laughs> Does it matter? But anyway, we found an alchemist up here, and he just taught us the levitation spell. Which means we'll be able to go down and move that rock and head right into the volcano immediately without having to go on a side quest in the swamp and defeat a giant snake. Right? Wrong! Guess what? We don't have that mud pepper required to uh, progress. And as you notice, I turned off the acid rain and the hardball spell because I think uh, what we're going to... it's not just rain? It's acid <laughs> rain. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be using any other offensive spell other than the, the fire attack. If you spread your uh, spells thin by using a, a wide variety of types, you end up uh, having very low-level spells at the end of the game, whereas if you just dedicate to one, it'll be really nice by the end of the game. So, And, hey, look, I saved right here, just in case something happened to this file and we had to... Uh, load the old file to continue. But we almost had to until we decided to do post-gameplay commentary. Well, in a way, I feel like we're kind of one of those internet reviewers now that actually make commentary on the reviews they do. Yeah. Well, no, it's a lot easier to talk not actually having to worry about playing and stopping and go, ah, every time I take a hit, which I seem to not be able to keep myself from doing. Yes, and I ain't going to lie, it annoys me. Well, if it annoys you, why would I stop? Well, you knew it did anyway, so it's not like I gave myself away. <laughs> I think this is where I started, like, saying Radia's story sucks just to be you for oh a day. Oh my gosh, really? You're going to bring that? Of all things, no, no, we I, talked I was about, really, we're going to really bring just bring it up. I wasn't actually going to start. Oh, there's two. I predicted six. That's one. Yep, that is one. And then when you were like, oh, are you going to do that? I said, no, I'm going to be you today. I'm going to just bring up out of nowhere stuff that you like that I don't and give you a hard time on why you like it. Ronnie Honest Stories wasn't bad. It sucked. How far did you get? I don't even know. Really? Maybe about 10 game hours in. Did you even make it to the big decision where you had to decide what faction you were going to side with? I thought that was Radiant Historia. No. That, well, that's in Radiant Historia 2, but that's earlier on, and it's not that big a deal. No, but the game sucks in the story. No! No, it doesn't! Radiant Historia and Radiata Chronicles are both good games. Radiata Chronicles? Radiata Stories. Why do people use Chronicles just that? It doesn't sound cool. It just doesn't. Can we rename SOE to Chronicles of Everyone? How about we not? What are you looking at? My phone. I was thumbing through my phone. <laughs> 30 talons. You know it would be really irritating? If, you know, we eventually progressed to a part of the game where they didn't accept talons as payment and the exchange rate was 2 to 1, so you end up losing half of everything you had. You mean like we do later on? We do? Dang it! <laughs> so, anyway... <laughs> Here we are at the swamp. Um, we're on our way to get a uh, mud pepper. 
so we that we can cast the uh, levitation spell to get inside the volcano. And for some reason, these frogs have an insane evade. And you know, SK made the point. They look that like frogs with huge duck bills. They do. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's a point. Itty bitty frogs, and you know, no. have you ever tried to catch a frog? Not like a toad frog that just kind of holds still, but like a bullfrog. Those things are fast. They, those things are so fast. But uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, this this whole gimmick right here is there's lily pads scattered around and uh, you know you just kind of have to mess with the lily pads to progress through the level. Sometimes you have to kill a certain enemy to create a bridge to go to the next part, and we get turned around fairly well in here too. So yay! Definitely not a complicated puzzle like you know a uh, dungeon that requires a kind of a clock face. To progress through the, uh... <laughs> you might as well tell him. Nah, 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 nah. Just... Did you tell him about how we were working oh, on Oh, yeah, yeah. The, this weekend we've been working on our uh, little RPG Maker 1 project. And, uh... We've got about six hours in it today. We usually, uh, don't work on, on it together. We usually do our own thing separately. So, this is a special occasion. Which is cool. I see you're messing with my dog. I don't. I know I don't read body language well, but I think she wants you to poke her more. Yeah, go ahead. You wanted to bite it. Have a chew. Yeah, go ahead, fatty. Take it. The dog weighs like three pounds. You call it fatty. <laughs> now just you hear that Mad TV skit where like this newswoman was going to the Skywalker Ranch, oh, and like she and George yeah, Lucas yeah. went out to lunch, and she just took some of his fries for some reason while they were eating. And he goes, well, if you wanted fries, why didn't you just, you know, ask me to order another, you know, an extra order for you? She's like, okay, fine, go ahead, keep your friggin' fries. No, no, go ahead. And he starts shoving them in her face. Go on. Come on, fatty. Go ahead. <laughs> uh... It's like they started playing Simon and he was in an Ewok costume. <laughs> Uh, Does anybody not look like a total nerd in an Ewok costume? Oh, man. Ewoks. Chewbacca! Uh, Chewbacca is Derek, not Derek. an Ewok. Che I know that. Oh, God. You need to get all Star... Hey, speaking of Star, I, Star Wars uh Star fandom, Wars? Yes. Yeah, what did I say? Star Wars. Yeah, I think I was trying to say Star Wars and the movie Fanboys at the same time. Did you ever see Fanboys? Heck yeah, I saw Fanboys. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. I love Fanboys. Well, except for the part where that dude started using the toilet right in front of everybody in jail. I just kind of skipped it. <laughs> oh, man. He's yeah. like, let me let me have your sandwich. Okay. He just started laying down the lunch meat as like a sanitary cover. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, speaking of paused video oh oh okay um Is video getting crazy on us now too yeah getting a little bit crazy sometimes <laughs> it's a little bit out of control with its rhymes but uh speaking of movies seen recently uh when i was playing uh or when i was helping dre with his lp of mario rpg revolution we had a uh, uh rosser helping us out and he uh informed Who's rosser? sir rosser uh he's just the fellow lp -er that we've been talking to lately. Cool guy. But, uh, he mentioned that there was a musical of Evil Dead 1 and 2 and a bit of 3 in there as well. And I was like, are you kidding? I love Evil Dead. So, uh, I went and saw that. And so, oh, I didn't went and saw it. I, yeah, I went and saw it. <laughs> Air quotes. <laughs> And so, um, we're, uh, I'm going to make SK watch it tonight, and it's going to be awesome. Oh, you're going to make me? Yeah, I'm going to make you. If I say no? I'm, I'm going to freaking duct tape you to a chair and put toothpicks in your eyelids and make them stay open. Like, I can't just do this pluck. <laughs> uh, well, no, you're duct taped to the chair. 
Oh, my hands were duct taped too? Yeah. Well, if your hands weren't duct taped, you could pull the duct tape off of your feet. Oh, yeah. Just saying. I'm not the one going around with homoerotic plants to duct tape men to a chair. Mm, mm, mm. And Milo just dinged. I ain't trying to hear that. Yeah, I forgot that. I totally forgot we named Milo and Foods. It was so funny. <laughs> just before the LP, I'm like, hey, we need to think of a name for them. I like Milo and Foods. That's it. Done. I'm like, <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I was. I think I was thinking about just a memory of you and uh, one of the guys that used to come over to the house on Combs, just playing foosball all the time. Foosball's awesome. And also because like one of the guys was a dog, and this you know there's two. There's a pair of. <laughs> you and I just naturally make other guys. Of... You know Milo because of the movie Milo and Otis. Mm. Ah, one of my favorite childhood movies ever. Oh, uh, just you know it's all narrated by one dude. The entire movie. <laughs> it's the fact that he sounded so retarded was what made the movie great. Oh, man. I do love me some foosball, though. I am undefeated among my friends. When I get home tomorrow, I'm going to settle down on the couch. Well, also the place where I sleep, because my apartment's that small. I'm going to gonna put on... Old VHS, just for the just for the feel. VHS, not DVD. That was a very nice uh, hit you did right there, where you just got uh, two really? of those frogs at once dealing over two hundred points of damage to both and one uh, hack. That was really impressive. The Adventures of Milo Nuts. That's what I'm gonna watch. Have you actually seen? have that? Yeah. VHS. Always had it. Really, you've kept it over all this time. Always. Always. I say DVD was overhyped. I say you're right. Uh, you know, I really see nothing wrong with VHS tapes. They hardly ever, you know, get the messed up. You know, where the tape all messes up and you just start start trying to straighten it out and it just keeps dragging out of the... Well, I mean... You're just like, hey, you just make it worse as you try to fix it. And one of those things, you just can't stop. You're like, no. <laughs> well, it's the same thing if you freaking got a scratch or a messed up DVD. It's... Still just as messed up. I remember, speaking of DVDs, just just to make talk here, you know, yeah. conversation. I'd, I'm still just, you know, teeming over the... <laughs> Actually, I'm not really anymore. But, well, like, how old were, uh, was DVD technology by maybe by the time we got out of high school? Because well, for some reason that summer, that was when I, suddenly I was just like, you know what? Well, DVDs were popular well before even PS2s. Yeah, I know. I know it had been, been around at least a few years, and that was when I got that free sound system from one of Mob's friends down the street. Which was awesome. Yeah, that thing was the best. I wish I could find it again. Well, I... And, uh, I was just like, you know what? While I'm pimping out my room with new audio video technology uh let's get a dvd player never have one never seen a dvd before and like while i was there at uh sam goody yeah i think it's called i miss sam i do too uh first one i got was that anime crest of the stars yeah and for some reason it seemed like the most epic thing because it hasn't been you (laughs) and i fooled myself into believing that the audio quality was also better than VHS. It's like, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. No, not really. Not really. But hey, look, we made it. What is that? What is that over there? What did, you originally thought I called was... it a wheel gator. <laughs> a wheel gator. It's a... <laughs> I can just imagine... Kudos to whoever gets the wheel gator reference. Leave it in your comments. Yeah. I... Well, If come you on. do, I will personally give you props. Well, you might as well give me props. Only re- but I gotta admit, the only reason why I know it is because we were, you know, at X's house playing where uh, that <laughs> reference came from. Uh, which was a fun time. We need to go back out to X's again some sometime eventually. I'm going back just to see Nia again. I, that's really sad. You'd go out there to see a chick you are not even an acquaintance hey, hey, with hey, hey. before you go see your friend She's that you've known for years. That chick. 
Why did I throw that all the way to the right? Oh, I guess I was trying to hit one of those fire. You're an idiot. I was trying to hit one of the fire things that you were doing, failing to protect me from. What man's best friend, my ass. But uh, of course not, Milo. All right, I ain't so, your best friend. So, so I'm sorry. Let me correct myself. I think it's pretty pitiful that you are going to see some lady that you are barely, not even an acquaintance with, yeah. before you go see your friend you've known for years. Well, who said before? Who said before? Who, who was you? Put, you implied who was like, putting priority I said, here. Go to hang out with X. Yeah, like, I'm gonna go to see Nia. Or Mia. What, I can't do that while I'm down there? I'm not saying you Excuse can't. Excuse me. I'm not saying you can't do that while you're down there. I'm just saying your priorities are a little mixed up. Who was giving priority with that? Because that's the way you emphasized it. You were emphasizing. I don't, I don't the, recall. You, you, of course you wouldn't recall. Then what, are, what are you so mad about? I'm mad about missing that stupid spider or snake and that the fin has worn off. Spider. Why did I call it a spider? Oh goodness. Did this I tell you I beat? This dude seemed like it had so much HP in comparison to the next boss we fought. Well, the the next boss didn't have as much HP. He just healed, which we didn't allow him to do very often. Well, and he did do quite a bit more damage. Actually, he did a lot of damage. He almost took me out entirely. Well, that's because you suck at this game. No, it's because I didn't have armor, man. Actually, I think I wasn't I... wearing armor either. See, I just yeah, you are. You're mm, wearing no, you're steroids. wearing a collar. The collar counts as your armor, buddy. You had armor. Yeah, I had crappy armor. I think I was down a grade. I missed some somewhere. Bam. Well, you shouldn't have missed 152. it. One fifty-two. You know, you're supposed to know this game, not me, buddy. I haven't played it in years. Years. <laughs> I don't know why I emphasize words like that. Oh, man. Did I tell you I beat Four Swords? Not Four Swords Adventure, but actual Four Swords. Because it was free on the DS store, and it had the single-player <laughs> mode. Special Edition, 24th <laughs> Anniversary. What was the version we played on that GameCube? Four Swords Adventure. It was an entirely different game. <laughs> now, I have to admit, the uh, Four Swords for uh, GBA was uh, was much shorter but it was still cool. Like, uh, after you beat the game, you unlock bonus areas. And they had levels themed after uh, Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, and Original Zelda. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, this fight. How do you attack fire? With your mouth. You, with your, your, your jaws of justice. Hey, did it die? That's right. That's what they are. No, I didn't. They are the Jowls of Justice. The Jowls, even better. Jowls of Justice. <laughs> now whenever your, like, attack levels up, we can be like, Hey, Jowls of Justice. <laughs> no, we can, it'll upgrade the Jowls of Great Justice. You like, that's what my Xbox avatar says. Partisan of, of Justice. Well, the Partisan of Justice just got a piece of snake. Ah, oh, explode. Too bad you, you can't hear it. Justice. You carry the spear of assholery. <laughs> what? How do you get that? Because you're Kaizo Lantis. Hey, you pro hey, what happened to... Uh, Ugh. Ugh. That's ugly. That is ugly. It's like I'm going to have to do some tweaking on the freaking... Uh... Oh, we paused because you're like, uh, that's you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It, I, I it, don't know why. Why does it even transfer? It's a two. It's a hack. Someone hacked this ROM, so it's two player. It probably doesn't even know why it's given. You know the text progression of which player. I mean, whatever. You really like this guy. I, I know how fond you are of this character. Yep. Yeah, especially the way he uh, uses his uh, magical his magic dead fish, fish satchel. <laughs> fish satchel. That's that's what I called it. So, I guess there's some kind of invisible barrier between the rib bones, and, you know, so that nothing falls out. The magic dead fish satchel. And I like how the dog just goes to sleep whenever, you know, there's a conversation starting. He's like, eh, you handle this. I don't speak English anyways. <laughs> a rupee! A key! 
still being hard. This, this, we should stay away from this guy. We should be Yay. leaving his home right now. Mud pepper. Mud pepper. Would you eat, eat something called a mud pepper? I wonder if those exist. Is, is a mud pepper really something? I don't know. Huh. And of course, we want to freaking sleep and the dude just stands there and watches over us. Creepily. Okay, now that is a little creepy. And his beard glows in the dark, all neon. <laughs> That's it. Uh, neon beard. Uh, <laughs> ultraviolet reactive beard. <laughs> How to know you've been in a swamp too long. <laughs> oh, when Rachel gets home, she takes that dog. Yeah, me too. It's her dog, ain't it? Yes, it is her dog. It is not mine. I didn't want it. The only reason why I got it for her is because she decided that she had to have it. And why are you always getting poisoned? Why are you always getting poisoned? Why am I always having to carry you? Why are you always taking so much damage? Because I don't have upgraded armor. Maybe I keep getting poisoned because I'm the only one man enough to even try to attack the Excuse spiders. Excuse me, the only reason why I'm taking more damage is because I'm putting my neck out there for you. Wish you could do the same for me. I'm a dumb beast. How would I know how to stick my neck out I there? agree. Better that than a gay beast. Yeah, and... <laughs> I remember here we were kind of freaking out because, like, um, I don't know how to get out of here. I have no idea where I'm going. And I keep running into frogs. Why? Okay, why do you keep running into frogs? Because I'm not paying attention. Huh. Um, dum, dum. So now we've got our uh, spell. We've got the uh, ingredients to cast said spell. Actually, it's not a spell. It's an alchemy. Whatever. Alchemy is not magic. Right? Uh, I don't guess. Whatever. Need to brush up on my full metal alchemist. Equivalent exchange. That's one thing I remember about that. You had me watch a few episodes of that, and like, one thing I remember was like their two brothers. What? What? One brother like a robot? No, 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 no. Got no. made into right, like no, his no, brother's no, 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 soul. No, no, no. See, the one thing, the one like taboo, the one thing you're never supposed to do in uh, alchemy is, is try to revive person? somebody. And the thing is, and then like, yeah, the way... yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Like they're they're it's called a big. Corporate... Their big manly looking teacher, who I remember when we was like, "Hey, is that is that uh, your instructor, so and so?" Yeah, she's a pretty lady. No, she was way too big and broad. Dot 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 dot. Knock me on the other screen. And it's like, um, we're sorry. We tried to revive her dead mom. And then like, you see like a unrelated shot while you just hear this. Just her. Just she just started beating the crap out of them crowds. Like whoa. Yeah. I know it's a big deal, but dang, hitting him's not going to reverse it. You can't spank him or something? I almost died just then. Like, really close to dying. But, uh... That's all I remember about was just that real bitchy lady. <laughs> she was kind of a bee. I mean, just... I mean, she was kind of bullying them around even before, you know, the confession of the big sin anyway. <laughs> The, but I the reason she, why she uh, always... Alphonse didn't have a body is because the way... Alphonse? It, Alphonse. His name Al. Is Alphonse. Al. Edward and Alphonse. That's their names. Edward. Edward and Alphonse. Ed and Al. Okay, go ahead. So is that the reason why he lost his body? Because the, ex, the equivalent exchange stated that, you know, that something had to have been sacrificed to make that alchemy thing work, right? And that's how he lost his body, but somehow, in, in the middle of the process, Ed was able to affix, affix his soul 
to that suit of armor since his body was gone. So that's how he remained and didn't completely just die. You gotta love anime, man. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, so... cases, no. So now we gotta go through here and, um... Hopefully you won't get poisoned through here. I know I didn't get poisoned, because I don't suck. <laughs> I haven't had an excuse <laughs> anyway. Well, what's that? I've never played the game before. Oh, you've been through this room several times. You might not have played this before, but you know what's in here. Why would I remember after a month? I don't know. I'm just saying. It's not... uh, oh, there I... it is. Look at me, having a baby foos. At least, he, at least I didn't have to keep getting healed. You would a lot. You would too if you were taking the same amount of damage I was per hit. Should have been fine that no. armor. <laughs> You're supposed to know how this game works. You're supposed to know how to dodge enemies, man. You're supposed to know how they operate. Well, let's let take this rock and head on into the volcano, finally. All that work, half of this video is just to get that friggin' rock out of the way. I'm ready to go inside. You're just sitting there just jacking off with a dragonfly. I was talking about something. All right, inside the volcano. That's when we start calling like the purple dinosaurs in here. The vipers. Jerk offs. You know, this jerk off over here. Those are the vipers, by the way. They are known as vipers. Well, they're stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> oh man, that dude just got rocked. Give me some of that ash. But. Yeah. So whenever we record the next video, remind me to make sure that the audio is checked. You really shouldn't have to remember to do stuff like that, though. Yeah. Oh my. Computers are supposed to make things convenient. Yeah, it wasn't convenient. It was very inconvenient, which is why we're... Speaking of inconvenience, do you use the limb system at Eldorado Chemical? The limb? Limbs? Limbs? Laboratory Information Management System? Oh, I'm not in the lab. I have no idea. Well, I mean, don't you, like, maintain some ways since you're, like, the IT dude? Uh, I, I basically make sure that, you know, that the lab has their files on the network. I just thought maybe... Or make sure that their wireless network's running, or, I, I mean... Anyway, that's the crappiest computer program of all time. No, we don't use a program called Limbs. We do use uh, something called uh, RS View that um, tracks a lot of the levels and stuff for the lab. Where so. the people are watching porn at work instead of working? Uh, that's, didn't you yeah. say you caught somebody with like, child porn at work? I didn't, but I don't know. That's just, ugh. Why would you do that? How could you... I, I just don't understand. Why risk getting caught at work? I mean, how does one come to enjoy the... Uh, I just... Can you imagine? Like, what if pedophilia was legal, right? Pedophilia. Like, let's well, just... just uh, and the video's paused again. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, let's just pretend for a second that pedophilia was, like, there was no age limit on the date. Uh, on, on who you could date, right? Sorry, I, my words are not... Okay. Why would you want to be in a relationship with someone so young? You'd be, like, talking about, you know, and, you know, serious stuff, and they'd be like, I want to play ball! And I'm like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> like, really? I think it's more like the six... To nine year old range, I'll, maybe. Sorry, I'm not, sorry, I'm not well versed in the. I, I think you're thinking children. a little bit too young there. Oh well, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, uh, you're having pedo thoughts right now. Yeah, I, I'm noticing. You know, I married someone four years younger than me. Man, so crazy. You know, but when I was uh, 18, she was only 14. Hey, you know what? That reminds me. This dude at work, uh, I don't know what brought this conversation up, just like I have no idea why we were talking about pedophilia for the last five minutes, but 
<laughs> like, he brought up this story. He knew this dude when he was 18, and he was dating a 17-year-old. Okay. And it was like, I th he said, he got... He, he got the rap on uh, statutory rape when she was just like three months away from becoming 18. Really? Even though, I don't know. I think you can make an exception there, you know? 18, 17, suddenly one's an adult, one's a kid. I, I'm really just... I was just like... <sighs> that's pretty... Uh, that's pretty stupid. Oh. No. What? Oh, yeah, I'm seeing no sound. Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me. Sorry about that. False alarm. I thought the audio was about to give up, so I, I kind of... You mean that it had? Yeah, yeah. I, I was about to say, no, we did not just lose this. No! I'm telling you, man. This and like entire last half of this year has been just absolute horror. Trying to LP anything, man. Absolutely, but just it hurts. It hurts my soul. I just want to play video games every night I and every day. Play video <laughs> oh my gosh, that song's so. You terrible. know, I really want to like that song because of the content matter, but but no content matter. I think I'm at subject matter subject matter but man is that annoying yep yep it's entirely too annoying you know, what, you know what music I can envision here was that super, the one level in Super Mario World where it's like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, and I, I, now I'm thinking about Blargs jumping out of the yeah Man, so, we were right. talking about pedophilia earlier. Yeah, why were we talking about pedophilia? Oh, no, I think I brought it up. And then I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you were a pedo once. How was I a pedo once? You remember uh, remember when we worked at LaBella's? Oh, uh, you're talking about Trish. Yeah. Yeah? All of a sudden, you decide, you know, we've been friends for a long time, but I want a piece of that. And every time she's okay, you may you didn't say you, I mean, I'm just being funny. Don't get all mad and personal. I would but, not have had a problem if I would have went on a date or two to see how it would have went. But was she like fourteen at the time? And I know we were no. I know you had to have been at least nineteen. Because I was eighteen. No. So you had to have been at least nineteen because you're over a year older than me. No, no, and besides she was bad news bears anyways. Bad News Bears. Bad News Bears. Oh, that's when you tried to charge up. You're like, let me see if I can peg that dude on the floor below me. And you missed anyway because uh, I, he wasn't even in, in like your line of sight. No, no. <laughs> Near. I suck at video games. I just suck at, at video, video games. games. Every day. But yeah, would you not consider yourself having been kind of pedo at the time? The... The difference in years wasn't any, well, it was not much worse than the, the distance in years with my wife that I'm married to currently. No? Because you said you're, you said Rachel's Me, four years younger, right? Me and my wife are four years right? apart. Okay, Trish was five years apart. I remember. That's not so freaking, that's not. I remember at the time, at the time, you had to have been at least 19 because I was 18. I remember. It was like first year of college. And you said at the time she was about to turn 15, meaning she was still 14. Which means she's 15. She's closer to 15 than she was 14. Okay, four, Okay, let's go ahead and just say four even years, even though it's not. It's actually a little bit over that at least. All right. But wouldn't that be a bigger age difference at the time than between you and Rachel right now? Because you're all older, uh, so the age difference in... By one year... Well, you said it wasn't as big a difference, though. It's not. You were a pedo. I was... <laughs> pedo Legis approves. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, buddy. I liked our original commentary better. 
I don't like this coming, Jerry. Uh, you don't like it when somebody starts giving you a hard time. You know, do you? because we're uh, recording the audio separately, you know, I get to edit this together, right? Of course. I'm of course, ch- you'll weasel your way out of. Now that I'm finally giving you a taste of your own message, you know, no, you I know found a gonna, good avenue. You know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to go through the audio and piece together parts of your voice to make it say, like, I'm gay or something. You so that- would. You would. That's what a coward does. A <laughs> coward? No, no. <laughs> uh, by the way, maybe I am gay. What's it to you? Well, I'm taking. God, Sorry. why you got? Why you got? I'm taking. <laughs> Sorry. Why you got? Why you got this? Why you got this gay guys? You got something against gay guys? No, I've got more than a one friend that is gay. Really? I have got plural friends that Who? are homosexual. Uh, well, there's Thutmos from the Mag. There's, well, there's that, uh, Drew. Like, there's, who's there's Drew? Uh, Damien from the Mag. He's gay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, like, how about people that we nor we've seen in real life? Uh, like, there's Jesse, uh, which is Jeremy's friend. Really cool guy. And Jeremy. <laughs> and Jeremy. Yeah, I forgot the gayest of them all. No. He, dude, Dude, have we brought that up? Like, you were talking about that time you and Jeremy just went to Olive Garden and a waitress thought you were gay. No, he thought... He a gay thought, well, couple. Well, yeah, they, he, for some reason, she thought we were a gay couple. So we went with it. <laughs> like, what'd y'all say? Like, what kind of things did... I don't know. We started acting all flirty with each other. We didn't really say anything. We were... <laughs> uh, uh, that was probably funny. I think she thought it was very endearing or something. I don't know. Have you ever seen Chuck and Larry? Uh-uh. Uh, there's a movie with uh, Adam Sandler where he... Um, That's probably why I haven't tried to see that movie then. Well, he, he uh, pretended to marry a friend of his so he could reap the uh, uh, benefits of marriage uh, for, for his kids for some reason. And they just did it on paper, but... They ended up, they ended up, you know, kind of getting in legal trouble for, you know, trying to dupe the system. But, and, and a lot of hilarity ensued because, you know, it went public. And the dude's, like, so straight, it's disgusting. Well, Adam Sandler's character, anyway. I don't know. I didn't know there was such a thing as being disgustingly straight. Well, the way he, um, uh, um... Uh, objectifies women would have disgusted you. Oh, okay. Well, I guess there's a... Yeah, so it turned out we just found this rando who were like, oh no, like a higher level of Viper, and we had to beat him. Yep. In order to so get... we're just sitting here kind of running around the circle, just dragging along. I'm using charge shots. Pop. And we get a mud pepper. And then we had to go a long way back to the last rock to levitate with the... Yeah, but hey, we're almost done. We're almost there. We're, we're, we're at the end, I think. We're only three-fourths of the way. Through the video. Through the video, but, I mean, to the, for this dungeon. Oh, no, we gotta do this, the, the sewer part of the volcano. Yeah. Just be glad we don't, we're not actually replaying it. Now, personally, I don't like post-commentary... I prefer my com- all my commentary live, but I-, I don't think I could have talked SK into playing that all over again. No, you couldn't. <laughs> what can you do? Speaking of objectifying, did you ever see Shallow Hal? The Jack no. Black? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Where it was like, somebody put a curse on him because he kept objectifying women and... So that, like, every fat girl he saw, he kept just seeing, like, a very, you know, thin, blonde goddess. Okay. <laughs> Until he finally settled on one, and everybody thought he was just being, like, a real jerk by, deli- like, they thought he was, like, deliberately just picking out a fat woman. Yeah. And they're like, God, man, you'll just pork anything, won't you? You're, you know, and he's like, what, what, why does everybody think, what? And he kept wondering why the girl kept saying, you know, thinking of herself as fat, and he's just like, look. What are you talking about? You're, you must weigh like less than hundred pounds. And she's like, "Well, which half of my butt are you talking about?" Her? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's funny. 
But yeah, we just learned the speed spell, which we were having a hard time figuring out what actually sped up. Looks like just your initial charge gauge. No, that doesn't seem to, like... That seems to be about normal, and I'm trying to charge an attack there. But... Would have been really great if speed actually, you know, sped up your walking. Like, permanent... Puts you in permanent run mode. Yeah. And it doesn't. You can normally walk. So I don't know. I do not know. I think, one of those I spells think the next just makes you think it does something awesome, so you'll keep using it. No, I think next time I get to an uh, an alchemist, I'll just take it off the list because it's not really doing anything. We tried in that boss fight too coming up, and you know, pet rock. <laughs> but that's it. We're we're now to the we're gonna go to the cooling sector of the volcano, where they keep the volcano cool. And in fact, it's being cranked up so high that it's actually making the volcano too cold. And it's going to kill off all life. I need to start using some more of those call beads. I can't remember what attack we last used when we used call beads, so... Why are you doing that? Habit. How about a habit? Yeah, actually, don't you usually get on the me for making repetitive noises? Like if I take a remote and, you know, I start fiddling with the... Uh, thing on this. Yeah. So yeah. quit. Ladies first. I did quit. All right. I got away with calling you a lady. I heard you. <laughs> I heard. Just more your. Oh BS. gosh! Now I remember this too. This took us a good bit too. Up. Oh, uh, actually, this is the right way to go. Up. Go up. Now go left. Go left. No! I'm stupid. I really had no reason to believe that something you saw on the right side, you know, you would get to that hole falling down on the left side. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. Your face doesn't make sense. Oh, I'm sorry. You're getting all easily offended because I actually said I, there's I, something, I, one thing bad about this game. No, 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 no. It's fine. But I, I, I don't think that you're looking at video games, of, you know, in the proper light these days, like, especially since you didn't like Radiata stories and Radiant Historia. Because they suck ass! They did not! They, they did not! They blue! No, no, no! Hey, I gave him a chance. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even kick you in the nuts like I said I was going to if Radiant Historia turned out to suck. I was fair. I was like, you know what? Maybe I didn't give it a proper chance. Which but it didn't. certainly did suck at the beginning. <laughs> no, it did not. Jeremy's suck. playing it right now, and he's enjoying it, too. Which I'm kind of glad I don't share Jeremy's opinion about anything, really. Why? <laughs> What's wrong with Jeremy? I'm just making a derogatory remark about him. Oh. Well, then I agree. Because guys do that. <laughs> <laughs> that is how we kid around. It's cool. Well, you got a problem being one of the guys now? And maybe. You, and you, maybe well, I want to be one of the girls. And you, <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, so here's the uh, door we need to unlock, and there's the button we need to use and to I get think it the open. Whole, okay, the, like the hole you fall into that led you to the switch, you saw like a distinct marking on the side. It looked like an arrow saying like, down here. Oh, really? Yeah, and when we went back to the other side, which is on the left, to go through the door that the switch opened, yeah, it's the hole on the right you fall into to go through the door that's on the left side of the room with the switch. And to get to the room with the switch, you went, you go through the hole well, on the left side. What? Did this game, like, not remember its own geography? <laughs> Maybe. Kind of like with that book I read, <laughs> didn't remember that the Minotaur was holding an axe <laughs> and not a sword. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, hey, I want to read you a paragraph from the story I'm reading. I want you to tell me if you notice anything different or anything inconsistent. <laughs> and it was he was talking about a minotaur that raised an axe above his head, and then he swung down with his blade, and the sword <laughs> missed the target it was aiming for. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, I know I completely butchered that up, by the way, but, you know. Ah. Yeah, you pretty much had it right. <laughs> 
It is a pretty good book, though. I, if anybody is a Dragonlance reader, uh, God, I don't even remember the name of like the this group of stories, like the War of Souls. You know, well, you know, since you've been using, uh, you know, Kindle, you maybe you just you know haven't looked at the title because every time you close a book, you look right at the title. You don't close. I don't the know, book. like the trilogy of books is called but it's it's always amber and something is the title of each book it's oh, like oh, this amber is right and... this is right that's wrong dad gum it messed up though i gotta say we navigated this much quicker than i thought we would i thought the video would be ending right around here i didn't think we we're gonna get this far in the video but no no we actually made it to the second part of the game yay Weird, it's only 5 o'clock and it's already looking dark outside. Well, yep, yeah, that's what happens in because daylight. Because America today. changes its own time for Except us. Arizona. Except Arizona. It's like, what time does Arizona use? Uh, they're... Like, you mean they're they, an hour you behind mean they us. just never go ahead or... They're, they're an hour behind us right now. And whenever we spring forward, they're going to stay right where they are, so they're going to be two hours behind us. Are they in mountain or Pacific time zone? Uh, yes. I, I actually don't really know. I just know that if I ever move, I'm probably going to go to Arizona, so I don't have to worry about freaking daylight saving. That's where the spoony one lives. Yeah. But hey, yeah, we made it. We finally made it. What? <laughs> to the end. We think it's Fire Eyes, and she's like... Oh my gosh, it's Fire Eyes! I'm your evil twin. You gotta love these old RPGs, man. That just they don't even care, really. The story is just whatever. Talk about a story that doesn't care is freaking Roddy Otta stories. Oh There's my a story god! That doesn't care. That was an awesome There's story. There's a music Especially score that doesn't give a shit either. Man, that <sighs> you wrong, man. Sucked, and all the characters. Uh, and fair warning, Every... my wife is gonna come here griping because I didn't answer the phone, so you have to bear with me. Okay. Well, maybe the audience will have to suffer with me. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, um... Huh. Well, you were Avoided! <laughs> anyway, so, um... The real fire shows up, and somehow makes her disappear. Or the made, real fire? The real fire eyes sh showed up, but the evil twin made her disappear somehow or another. And now we gotta deal with her pet rock who requires being greeted properly. So, throwing on all the buffs. Now we're fighting her pet rock. Pet rock. So I never really got to see exactly how much HP it heals for when it jumps in the lava. Because I never really stayed up there where it jumps in. But th there it goes right now. Maybe we can kind of see just a little bit. Nope. It was definitely a uh, triple digit. So. Yeah, one And you know, and when it you got on low HP, why didn't it just go in the lava and stay there? Because then it would never die. Well, I mean, just from his point of view... If he wanted to... Oh no, it's hot. But yeah, well, man, this dude, we, we take this guy out fairly quick. Took your mom out fairly quick. You were doing twice, like almost twice the damage I'm doing. I went to Finn, and I think I used Cure at some place instead of using Defend. Yeah, like right here. Here it is. Yay, noob! Well, you healed me of like 6 HP I lost in the meantime. <laughs> I am taking a lot more damage than you. 
Look at you doing all that damage. Bam, but I got the kill shot. Don't hate. Oh, that's why we had so much money. We got 900 bucks so off So, I'm doing almost twice as much damage to you. 290 is almost twice the number that, of 218. Your math sucks. Th that was a rare hit. Like, <laughs> I have not been doing... I haven't taught, like, top 200 in forever with that dude. It was always, like, 180, maybe. That's still not twice you as much. You want heat? I'll give you heat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So, instead of cooling off the mountain, she overheats it. Instead of erupting, it just springboards us out. Oh, yeah, I Mode seven. Right here, I went. Secret of Mana Mud. Hey, she thrashed his layer down there. See it? Yeah, when this game was made before Secret of Mana. Like I knew. When was this one made? I don't know. Why you know it was before Secret of Mana? Because I, I'm, you're stupid. Oh, okay, that's a logical answer. I uh, like how Defend Warriors off now in the middle of the cutscene. <laughs> so, you know, then you wake up several hours later. later and, uh... Actually, you know what? You wouldn't have thought that... You probably wouldn't have thought that, like, we lost audio if we had just watched that window over there. Yeah, <laughs> well, I just dragged it over there when we started recording the second time. Because I was scared. I, I was scared, buddy. Scared. I was like, is that a real character in a real book? Sink, boat, sink. Sink, boat, sink. No. That is not a real boat. A real boat? <laughs> book. Oh my gosh. How do you know? Look it up on the internet. I might. I might. And also look for that name. Danny Carlisle or whatever. the Carlige or whatever. Oh yeah, and I said these dudes look weird, and why is that dude that looks like Abe Lincoln standing right behind the dude sitting down drinking a mug? It's like he's just waiting to rape him. Maybe he is. And, and then like that third guy with the carrying around giant axe gets behind him sometimes. You mean that giant anchor? Yeah, axe? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, when I first saw it, I thought it was a crossbow. Look at that He's double jointed as he's wiping the table. Check it out. Oh gosh. Don't do that to your arm. There's two guys that were just like two-dimensional fist punching. I was about to say fisting. Oh gosh! And I don't say that. Didn't want to think about that. Don't say that. Ah. <sighs> Gosh, I just gotta try to remember now where to actually go to progress the game. Like I don't, I can't remember where you. I actually, no, I know right where you are. I don't know how to get that that part to take apart. But the thing is, we're separated for now, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit. Then you're gonna have to do some stuff by yourself. So, as a dog on your own. That's retarded. How's that retarded? I thought you'd think that was kind of cool. When you like to do something. Don't you right remember now? right before this video? Yeah, I said who gives a crap about foods anyway. Yeah, you do. You care. You care. And there went half of our money. After exchanging half of it, it kind of went down to 3600 which is fine. It was enough to buy all the newest armor whenever I get up to that guy, who's just up here, which is, you know, convenient. Now, I know somewhere there's a guy here that sells something called an Amulet of Annihilation, and that is a item used in an alchemy spell that's pretty awesome but you could use it instead to trade a, this guy that'll get us across this vast desert right this vast desert takes forever to go across and uh, you can give him an amulet to skip it and just he'll take you well, sounds to me like that's what we should do I know I don't think so uh, the, the amulet's expensive as heck and I don't want to pay that why'd money why'd you bring it up well, because you're going to gripe about it later. You're going to be like, gosh, why are you walking across this long desert? This is ridiculous. Why is it taking so long? Meh, meh, meh. I complain about everything. Oh, I'm yeah. very nitpicky. I can't let things go. Yeah, you're one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know it. That, that giggle right there says it all. <laughs> uh, and it won't let me sell your collar, by the way. 
I tried to sell your What college. are you supposed to do? Teleport it off me when you don't <laughs> even know where I'm at? Maybe. Well, what's it doing in, as an option in my in the inventory if I don't have it? Dog don't have an inventory. Yeah, he does. It's his neck. <laughs> Upon You're an idiot. I... Anyway, next bid. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a, that's about it here. We fi finally found... I was like, I wonder if there's an inn nearby. I looked up here and I found an inn. So, I'm just going to rest here, save up, and hopefully I'll have myself a, a video to put together that won't suck really, really bad. Well, all right, guys. Well, that's about it. So, uh, hit you up later. And hit the record button next time. Or you check mean, the just, record box. Yeah. Or